So I've been with TSM for almost a year now. Uh, it's gone by incredibly fast. We started getting picked up by them in the winter 2016 season when Cole the Meek and Mixture were on the team. We actually went on to win that event and that was a huge, huge highlight for us. We performed really well. Fortunately, we slumped during the spring split and placed fifth during that season, which was Disappointing not only for ourselves, but TSM as a brand, and it, we felt that it was kind of time for a change. Well, the reason I joined the TSM is Flash found me like, hey, you want to see? Uh, we are, are you interested? We're gonna try out the new jungler for the new TSM Vanguard team. And I, oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> and then just like, Chuck and Flash, so I joined TSM. So when I first joined the team, it, I was nervous at first too because it was the biggest team that I have joined and I knew that I was going to have a lot of expectations. Them being on the roster was a huge, huge addition to not only to how good of mechanically they were, but also just how many we got, got along together as teammates. So we practiced really hard during the summer season and we ultimately went to make an undefeated run during the summer finals and won that championship. Going into Worlds, we definitely had high expectations. Not only for ourselves, we knew other people were expecting a lot out of us as well. I think that the North American region as a whole was incredibly competitive and we knew that the Korean teams would be very strong as well. try this comp again but with a hero other than Adagio's Roam because I think that this I think that this comp is actually viable if we have someone other than Adagio. The biggest teams to keep an eye on were probably Phoenix Armada and Gangstar Sirius. Phoenix Armada from Korea we knew that they had a very strong meta uh, that actually countered a lot of what the North American meta played. So when we started screaming them in preparation for Worlds, we definitely learned a lot and we actually started to adapt to their meta the closer and closer we got to Worlds. North America definitely is the strongest region and Korea had this powerhouse team, Phoenix Armada, who just have a lot of experience. Uh, both their laner and jungler have been together for over a year. So they definitely have been working up that synergy they have. The Korean meta is actually very focused on hyper aggression. They pick heroes that can fight well in the early game and they tend to just snowball with infusions and taking objectives throughout the entire game. Feel good. Uh, we've definitely learned a lot in scrimming the other Korean team. So now that we'll supposedly be scrimming the lesser of the two, we definitely feel confident going into it. Do not Watson, underestimate these guys, hyper -aggressive they're gonna be really fucking good. What a draft to kick things off, at least for us, right? I mean, Kashka has a first pick. That is crazy. Oh, Sense Play trying to go for the Impale, but he misses it. We talk about this all the time. He can't miss those as a Lance in the early game. Watsi wants the kill. He picks it up. He is getting taken quite low, trying to back away now. Oh, Malice and Verdict not going to finish him off. Flash trying to sustain him a bit. They're actually thinking about going back in here, humans. Watsi, look at the damage. He finds a second kill. Team Solo mid out of the gate strong. Whoa. Von C, speaking of team fights, watch one right now, jumping in very quickly. The Oblivion doing some good damage. Best Chuck also very low, doesn't need the ultimate, but doesn't need to. Von C picks up the kill, he's looking for more. I love Young Ju, still has a good amount of energy. Von C goes down. I love Young Ju, could maybe turn around here. Oh, Flash has bought a fountain. 
Martin during that fight used it to keep him and Best Chuck alive. That's an ace for Team Solo, man. Perhaps after their earlier exchange, the Best Chuck over the wall is finding a lot of good damage. They need to reposition on the side of the hack to actually get the pressure down. Von C turns things around, finds first kill. First comes through, but it's great to get the wall blocks. That might be enough for Hack to get away, but the slows keep coming in. Sense play, I don't see him getting out of this one for as long as before. It's an ace for Team Solo mid. Two team fights have now won back to back. Are they going to the end here? Humans, do they have the damage? They're actually they splitting can, between can, the two turrets. Yes, yes Team Solo mid might be able to take Hack down right here, right now. So much damage on the Bane Crystal. I don't think Hack can defend this one. Humanist Team Solo mid Jeez. take the first game of this two game series. Look at Hack. If that first game was anything to go by, I cannot wait for this one. Look at Sense, but what? Oh, my man. My. Okay. You gotta break this down for people, because this is a, a normal Lyra play. I haven't seen this from a Flicker before. Well, Flicker has to imagine that maybe Lyra's oh gonna do this. Oh Flash taking a look at the he damage off the map! He's just Flash. mouthing it! Flash should be going down oh, here! He can't get out of this one! Two Sense more! Gets Sense play gets it! 30 seconds ago. You know, like, this This is not the normal play. He does go for that after burn, but I love Youngju with a beautiful reflex. Oh Stops my it. goodness, Jackson! Hack. Look at their kite ability in that fight. You can see why TSM was wondering about going in at all. Pushed the one in there. Gave Team Solomon some free. What oh, oh, good good. Good. oh, Team Solomon did not see this one coming. Flash jumps right into the fight. He needs to be with that buddy system on his teammates. Fountain does get popped this time, but Best Chuck still the first target to fall. Flash X, he can't get away. He they goes down. Do it. Hack, Hacker do they it. take two kills in the fight. They're going to take the game. It's one for one between Korea's Hack and North America's Team Solo Mid. Oh, uh, oh, I'm kind of got tilted. I'm getting tilted a little bit. You're stuck. If you don't kill them, you're dead. Yeah, that's that's my plan. It's like we just melted them because they have no production with Flaker. So I'm assuming we can melt them before I die, and then we probably not win the fight. I just think. Sky is so mobile, and Kestrel has her active camo that it makes it hard in that yeah. scenario. I can't, I can't gap close like you want to to get to them. When Sky Star strikes back and Kestrel invis is back. Did you, do you wait, guys? We got one. Only flashlight. That was a good trade. I 100% think Taco would have been a better pick. Okay, I, I think that too. Yeah. Okay. Um. Talk or Sam there. Because if we take two ranged heroes with Lyra and we just dish out damage, they can't heal it up and we can heal it up. Did you see the level one rotation? Did you see the stuff on Twitter? No. Did you see what happened? Dude, it was so troll. Yeah. We literally just switched positions. Did Flicker come up behind us? Yeah. Yeah. That's why, the, like. Yeah, that was super fucking unlucky. And then like, in that position, I can't do shit. Because my heel was already down when he went on me. What are our takeaways from the first game? I don't know what it was, but we just didn't snowball the same way we usually do. Like, there's a lot of opportunity here. Yeah, trust me, Vancey. Okay, I trust you. What should I pick? Something that you are very confident on and have played more than like 14 games with. Alright, let's fucking go. Vansi is on the hunt, jumps onto him, takes him down. Very, very far ahead. They've been doing a great job of forcing Arachisaur back. There goes the silence coming out from his club. And Flash X getting taken down so low. There's the Oblivion coming down. He hangs the gauntlet right on top of it, but he does reflex block it. We are going to see uh, Tedno JJ, the first one to fall here. Two Best Chuck NA with those basic attacks. We're going to see the forward barrage coming in. Oh, and it's going to secure kill. the double kill for Best Chuck NA. That's going to be two more kills going over to Team Solo. Made Araki Zoro the only one alive for Gangstar Cerberus. I've got to say, I feel like that's all I keep a little bit like, I know they're diving for Araki Zoro. Araki Zoro oh, not going to get eight. out alive. That's an ace for Team Solo mid. Von C picking that one up for himself. With Von C getting focused now, there's a death from above landing. 
onto no one. We are going to see the Gauntlet getting thrown down as well. The Tenno JJ getting taken down by Best Chuck and A with a series strike and basic attacks. Make that a double kill for Best Chuck and A. Make that a triple and an ace. That's going to be Team Solo mid getting a triple. This Man. is a very, very short game, I think. Oh, in. definitely. And we are going to be seeing TSM taking game number one. There's the afterburn coming in from Tendo JJ on the flashbacks. There's the first adjustment coming down as well. And the first the adjustment ball. takes him out. Crucible's not going to be able to block it. Gangstar Cerberus get aced. He's only sitting on a sorrow blade as far as the tier 3 items concerned. One shot, one kill comes out, lands on the Tendo JJ. And now they're going for the fight. There is the Yummy Cat and Frenzy onto Iraqi. So it gets bursted down by Von C. First adjustment comes out from Flashax. Not going to connect onto anybody. Tendo JJ going to be falling to best Chuck. Meanwhile, we're going to see Netsuola <laughs> dancing around. And he's going to eventually be taken down by Vonsi. Vonsi is just dancing around him. It's actually going to be a kill going over to Flash X, and it's going to be an ace going over to TSM. And they're going to go ahead and take the victory here in game number two as well against Gangstar Cerberus. Gangstar Cerberus, EU's last hope. Unfortunate here. Made it through groups. <laughs> <sighs> Got a little scary, but you know. Yeah. Did, did our comp just like outscale in late game? That's why? Well, our, our comp was just better at all stages of the game. Yeah. After shot. I, I, I told you I was going to smart. I mean, you feel. Like, oh, I'm going to build double shatter glass I mean, this I game. I mean, I side defense, depends how we snowball. If, if we had snowballed. We took two turrets. We took. I know. But like the first rotations Vonsi just farmed. If we were taking their farm every rotation, we could have gone after. I, I, can't, gone double I can't go double shatter and I'm not playing well to be fair. It's not my level. Alright, get a good night's rest. You don't have to wake up too early tomorrow. I don't care if we're late to whatever. You can sleep in. We play Infamous Legion. Second seed out of Group C. The Asian. Yeah. Asian. It'll be good. I think that our draft strategy will shred them though. Because they, they literally said in their interview that they just like to go glass cannon builds and mm. assassins should, in theory, shred, shred that. Group stage was actually pretty hard. Uh, it was the first time that we had ever really competed against other regions where we hadn't really had an opportunity to see what their play style was like or what their picks would be. So it was a little nerve-wracking for us knowing that they might pull something very surprising that we had never seen before wake up at eight or nine sucks and i'm kind of like tired and not playing my best and uh, we should take that easy but just something we never seen before so i don't know what should we do so i cannot make the right call for our team, so it's kind of suck. That's why we drop one game. I don't think Aloha is a good coach. To be fair, he didn't dodge all that. He just to be fair, that. once at the end of the game in 11 minutes, we we didn't close out any games that quickly today. Like, to be fair, our coach got matched up, but it's like fucking Lara. Shit. Okay, so anyways, shit. Wait, who are we playing? Infamous? Yeah. It's gonna tell me. We saw Infamous versus Team Snow. Snow got fucked. They played Petal and CP Gwen. I was in the game for some reason. <sighs> tier 3 boots. Um, tier 3 boots, first tier first. 3 item on Gwen. They don't even have double broken mess when they're playing double CP like. Until they came. Until they got bounties. You ready? Why not? Play at this level. Let's fucking do it, dude. Oh, let's fucking go. Not only that, but actually the positioning that hack has. Feel good? Let's do this shit. We got it. <laughs> I know I have fucking control, but sometimes. Oh, can we don't look at me? I'm so shy. Move, camera. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs>
it's just one of those plays. You don't see it all the time, but it comes through, it makes sense. Oh, deft Q. He is going to get over the wall, forcing Vonti to follow with the Young Academy friends, but it doesn't even matter. Vonti has the damage right now, and is, you know, in this league, they can't help out. Vonti, you're on the back They're taking so much damage in the lane. Vonti wants more yet again. Gauntlet comes is he going to get more? Stun. Spaghetti cannot leave the arena right now. Best oh, jump to my goodness. Kill. It's an ace to Team Solo mid. Nine kills with nine minutes. Team Solo But here comes the gauntlet. Flashax wants to pick a fight. Vonzi backing him up, diving onto the back line. Twitter Boys does take a lot of damage. Team Solo they're going to be happy with that trade a bit just for some good chunk damage. Vonzi, oh. he's going to get taken down though. The turret doing some serious work. Chuck, he doesn't have the energy for an active camo. He's doing some good damage. The fountain pops very late from Flash. Couldn't save Vonzi, but it's keeping best chunk in this. Can he get the damage down? He finds the stun. He picks up the kill. Flashax wants a little bit more spaghetti on. The run, he should. Oh, oh no, he got it. Through. I think humanist, this might just be all over right now. Kraken still fairly healthy. The fountain pop, Fonzie does go down. The best Chuck is doing so much damage just to the members of the Infamous Legion. Spaghetti can't fight backwards. Death gets crit. That's a 700. GG. Fonzie jumping in. They're just gonna force it. Is this they over? Look for the main crystal right now. Humanist, that's one kill going on to Quitter Boys. Best Chuck is not being harassed at all. Spaghetti and Death you trying desperately. They gotta take this one down! Man. He's so close! The Van Crystal could go down! Flash X doesn't have Can Flash do it? Can, he do Can it? Flash do it? Can Flash do it? Can't find it! <laughs> he keeps the pressure on the Bonzi's base. He's going for Dead it. Q might be able to pick up best Chuck. He does. He needs to run towards the base. Von C. They gotta get back! Right they gotta get He's back! The Van Crystal! I don't think they're gonna be able to spaghetti. Take spaghetti! He's on his way back in! Von C. Does he have the damage? Humanist, one or two more attacks. Can he do it? Spaghetti! Oh! CSM looking like they might want to threaten going to the base again. Bonzi eats the gauntlet. Best Chuck, too. But three people get hit the end wall. Spaghetti trying to find the burst. It gets blocked. The stun isn't there. Bonzi jumping on top of the Q needs to find the damage. He's over the wall. It's good positioning. He picks up Bonzi. He doesn't have enough to burn through Flash X, though. That gives Best Chuck a lot of ability to maybe move in. He's got constant slows coming out of the puck shots. Skedaddle to try and get himself a little oh, bit closer. Death Flash X around the other side. Death, he can't get out of here. He can't do it. to make it to semi-finals at the Bain Boy World Championship. Congratulations. Thank you. That storm came. Why is he building a storm? What the fuck? Um, For damage? Because they don't build defense? <clears throat> maybe. I mean, maybe that's strong. I'm pretty sure Lyra's damage is pretty good. Uh, Kashka is really the best hero in the Vanguard on this patch because, like, you can stop Kashka invade your jungle at level two, but you cannot stop Kashka to invade. Like Kashka can invade whatever she want. So you need you need defend your jungle from f first minutes to the end of the game. And if you make one mistake, you're gonna get snowballed. That's how it is. Uh, I thought I definitely performed very well that day. I did end up getting two triple kills, and it was really a good feeling to have performed well on stage. Oh, I guess I do. are you ready to make a statement? What is statement? Make other teams scared of how good you are. They're gonna get fucked, dude. How are they gonna get fucked? 22 and 0. That's good. How fast is the game gonna be? 10 minutes. The Germans are gonna get dominant. So we can, we can, we can have We can have first a fight to force a turret. Make sure we're paying attention to their builds though. Even though we saw what they do yesterday, they may adapt to what they've seen from NA and what they saw from us yesterday. So just make sure we're paying attention. As soon as that comes back up, here we go. Then he gets the kill. And they've been able to chase Bonzi off oh, the side. Bonzi trying to trade back into this one. And actually it looks like Velocity may have given up the chase. Oh. One, shot. one kill takes him down. They 
getting jumped on by Von C now, will get knocked away. And Zia very low on energy here. Baines actually might fall to the x Retsu, which is up in just two seconds. No energy, no energy. energy. on Von C. He still goes in with Kaku and down. will get the kill onto Baines. Zio tries to chase him away. It's up to Baines and Aloha to try and defend. But can you do it into a Kestrel? Can you do it into a Kraken? No, you can't. And Team Solo mid take it. What a no. Ava a little bit quicker. I think they would have go. Von C, though, he's they know he's not there. Yeah, they catch him out. Flash X does try and come in with a Vanguard, drifting Dark used as well. Von C trying to get away. Aloha has taken a huge amount of hurt. But here comes Zio. Von C escaping underneath oh. his turret. Gets to oh. safety. <laughs> and they get the counter kill. They're going to turn their attentions to Veins as well. Of that Kraken to get any damage down onto it. Oh, boy. They're actually just going to go all in for the engage. Oh, Chuck no. knocked into the wall. How is he still alive in this fight? What are you doing, Chuck? He survived for absolutely ages and gets the kill. They're going to turn this one right around. Now Zio jumps onto Chuck, eventually takes him down. He's looking for Vonsi. Has to try and kite around this one. Vanguard comes out. Zio so still close there. Right Vonsi still alive somehow. And TSM take the ace. Gets stunned up, Vonsi takes his poke too. Here comes Vonsi onto Zio though. Zio needs to survive if Hammer's velocity stand a chance at all. Oh, nice and he's turnaround. got onto Vonsi, but he's gonna get taken lower. The burst oh. knocks Vonsi back, and Vonsi will fall. Velocity are making their final stand. They're saying, You shall not pass. You shall not go to the grand finals, TSM. Vonsi onto Zio. Zio still alive. There is the gauntlet coming down. Zio oh, trying to set up a pressure damage. cooker. That is a huge amount of damage as Chuck falls Vonsi up in the burst as well as he will go down. The Kraken is pushing in here for Hammer's velocity. Take the oh pace of this game a little bit more, Von C. Trying to oh get no. onto Aloha, the ace is high, comes down and there's the stun. Bane's trying to get out of the gauntlet. We'll have the Githian wall up in two seconds, but it's gonna be two seconds too late. It's like Deja oh, the it's high Zio. Here's the gauntlet as well, Flash X is going. It was cancelled. What a god Bane's is and the Dragon's Breath comes out. Don't let Hammer's velocity are gonna turn this one right back Best around. Chuck can't do Best it. Chuck cannot do anything. Hammer's velocity and Bane's in particular. You absolute gods. They're going to be taking us to a game five Sona. This could be the opportunity for Velocity to come back if they can steal it. They're trying to go in. Getting on to best shot. Crack and low. Here's the call that Zio might be caught out. Von C is going to go all the way out to the back line. Zio still has the Dragon's Breath. Baines is dead. Flash X in the front line. What was oh. that? The supernova was huge. One shot, one kill doesn't connect. Before we head into what could be our last fight, you never know when that's going to break out. Speaking of breaking out, it's actually going to happen right now. Chuck's caught. There he goes into the wall with a Githian. Zio trying to do what he can from the back line. Takes a Solar Storm to the face. But a great Githian wall. Oh, what? He's dead. Chuck's dead. I can't believe it. Hammer's velocity. They're doing on his it. Head. They'll take down Flash X. Chuck is back the back the is there. Everything conspires against TSM. As Hammer's velocity takes the ace and takes the Kraken down. down. Oh, all does not connect. connect. Baines is dead. There's the Solar Storm onto Aloha as well. The Kraken is being left. Zio with a huge Dragon's Breath on Devon C. Aloha trying to jump in there as well, but the active camo is just too darn much. Spitfire after Spitfire connecting, but it looks like TSM might have this one in the bag. Chuck jumps onto a scout trap. Zio taking low. He's got no energy. Zio has got no, no energy. energy and will get taken down. Oh my god. TSM are going to the finals. This is all over. Team Solo mid do not get reverse swept. They hold on. But are they going to be able to do this against Phoenix Armada later on today? I gotta leave right now. That was a crazy match. Way too crazy. That was a pretty crazy series. Oh, fuck. Thank you. No All right. Wow, this game was just like League. What? Uh, <laughs> like the game theory? Yeah. Now we face. That's hard. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. They tend to just keep invading and they don't get their own backs. Right after the inhale, there's the Aces 5. Best Chuck in A didn't even get a chance to tap his iPad during that fight. He's gonna have to back away to the mountain. All right, Von C wants some though. Von C. Oh, I don't know if he wants it that bad. Oh, no. look at this. He gets Von one C. 
Malice and Verdict off. That's it. He goes down. As well, getting slowed up by the Buckshot. Stunned to the turret, even oh without the reflex block. Now Best Chuck jumped on. This okay. is absolutely insane, Humanist. It's okay. Armada. They're walking circles around Team Circle Death. When our analysts are talking about Willie being oh, such a player. Oh, hang on a second. Fonzie impaled yet again. Mango with the bleed. Gonna pick up the kill. Flash X. Can he get away from this one? Mango wants more. So okay, destroyed. They're Phoenix. diving. Another right. turn. Best Chuck just respawn. Have some mercy, Phoenix. Team Solo mid have not picked up a single kill yet. Mind fired by Hammers. Hang on a second. Best Chuck hit by the impale. Bonzi very low. Best Chuck goes down. This fight is over in a flash. Flash is the last one trying to get out of here. Mago is going to be on the hunt. Finds the kill. Man, Team Solomid has some serious work to do to dig themselves out of this series and start to make their comeback to forward in Game 3. But here comes the rotate out of Druid. Phoenix, they want to go for a fight, but Druid actually getting a kill quite quickly here. He might go down. Flash picks up the kill. He's very low health, but he gets out of there. Mango, he's trying to chase, but Best Chuck, he's going to pick it up. Team Solomid, they rally here in Hollywood. Set them up for the fight. Man, and the Hale, though, gets involved too. Flash actually the plays. Ace is high on the Druid. He cannot fight back. They Willie can't pull it. interrupted out of the gauntlet. That means that there's nothing stopping them from maybe going on to Mango if they want. He's trying to sneak away. Can he actually get out though? There's the active camera. There's no way by out. the one shot. Team Solo mid. Pick up an ace. Coming out of well through the blocks. Then Druid actually walking back in, trying to get on the back line, trying to find the damage, but he's gonna be going down before Willie can even found. Mango can't get the damage he needs on the bot team. He's stunned up just a little bit. Team Dark doing the work. Team Solomon, they're going to take game three and keep this series alive along with North America's hopes and dreams. Might be enough, Mango. I don't think he's going to be able to get Ew! here. Oh, he, he got it. it. Can't get away. But does he mind? It's an ace. That's bump minions. That's turn. This is Deja Vu, Humanist Mango from the same position, trying to go in, trying to get on the best Chuck and A. The damage is there on Avanci yet again. Druid trying to find that stun. Can he get it? Not this time. Avanci plays around the active camera much better. Mango wants more though. He goes for best Chuck. Druid's not even dead right now. Oh, Team man. Phoenix pick up another two. All right, Phoenix Armada, they're just doing cleanup duty right now, picking up the Vein Crystal and their third win in the Grand Finals. Phoenix Armada are one win away from being the first ever Vainglory World Champions. Field attack of a... So far we've seen Mango, he's been Whoa. very... Oh, Peto! Right when it comes down to it, TSM lock in the Peto. It's had mixed success here at the World Championship. So far away, to really catch you out. Here it goes on to Willy. Oh, That's not the best target, though. Druid, he's trying to kite backwards. The fountain has been popped. Mango does some good damage. He's going to that in front. Backing off right now. Druid's in kill, though. Fight. Flash hits it. Druid, Beautiful he goes fight. down. Mango cannot get away. TSM. Team Solomon, with their backs against their wall, are finding the strength to carry on in the Grand Finals. Hussey jumps right into the fight. So much burst damage coming out from Druid. Mango, he wants back in. He kites it over. Fox, he's stuck in the gauntlet. It's going to be a kill for Phoenix. They might best jump too. Phoenix, they want this championship, Humanist. They're going to take the ace oh against Team Solo Nid. What a comeback. Gauntlet so does land, even though the knockback comes through. Best Chuck going to be the main target. They really want him oh, right now. Shot. Three picks in the second. Three people turn back. Team Solo Nid, they're, they're turning the fight around. Druid finds a stun, but they can't do it. Phoenix needs to run right now. It's so dangerous to go back in, but Mag is trying to buy time for the crack. He finds some damage on the bot, he's stunned at the wall. Goes down. Team Solo, man. Yeah. They can take this game home. They're going to go two to three and keep their hopes alive yet again. Phoenix Armada, Team Solo mid, yet again, this could be our last game, but Team Solo mid, Let's they're go. making a case Let's for going go. all the way to seven. They move up kind of aggressively, he's not only six yet, no Bangarang available, Willie could be the first target, that's gonna be the first, oh. it's done, three wow. people! Phoenix Armada, what a team fight, Kestrel with the double kill, that was massive for their early game lead. Get strong. Four best chuck on water. Gets rocked. Bang rank comes out though. It goes on to Mango. That's the main target. Stun on the bot C, however. He goes down. Best chuck has to bail on the fight with the portal, but it might not be enough. Glimmer shot for the kill. It's an eight minute ace for Phoenix Armada, and it's going to be an eight minute tier three turret two. 
They're gonna be they're pushing going onto for the main more. Right Fonty. Now. Look at that. It's gonna be the first coming out. Fonty. He's getting burst and down. Well. Where? Where is the backup? Fonty is in this back line. He's down. Flash as well. This is ridiculous. They could just end the game right here. Best Chuck nearly dies on the sanctuary. Humanist, Phoenix Armada. They're doing it. They want to take the first world championship by storm in style. Phoenix Armada. Kinda of wanna cry. Everyone is yelling TSM. Everyone is supporting us. Everyone is watch wanna watch us to win the game, but we fucking drop it. I'm really sorry, but I try my best. After game six was over and we knew we had lost, uh, it was just kind of a surreal moment. Um, the last time I had played Druid, he was still a part of Invincible Armada in VIPL Season 2, and it was a super close series, uh, and I definitely remember him saying that one day he'd be training to play me again, and so it was kind of bittersweet. Uh, I was happy for him that he had worked incredibly hard to get to that point, but I was definitely pretty disappointed that we lost as well. That is enough talk. Phoenix Armada representing Korea. Go claim your world championship trophy! We knew Phoenix was going to be a tough team, and they definitely showed with their performance. They performed very dominantly in a lot of the series, closing out games very fast. Phoenix Armada is so strong really just because of how mechanically gifted they are. They play really well, uh, not only as individuals, but their synergy as a team too. Whenever they commit to a decision or commit to a fight, all of them are all in 100% and they really don't hold anything back. Uh, Mango is really, really good jungler. His jungle slice is, I will say, the best jungle slice I've never seen in my life. Just really good mechanical player. Like I will say, if I'm not the best player in the world, my best jungler in the world, he will be the best jungler in the world. It's definitely disappointing to lose, but at the end of the day, the only thing you can do is try and look to the future and focus on what you can do better. The plan to move forward is just to keep practicing, you know. Ultimately, for the next World Championship, we definitely want to be the number one team. Oh, really thankful my teammates, everyone support us. We got second place, it's not bad. We will come back on next year. It is, there is a little bit of happiness knowing that we're the second best team in the world, um, but I think that we all had expectations of ourselves that we wanted to prove that we were the single best team in the world, but I think that this will be huge motivation for us as a team going forward in the future.